no approach. Now, take a look at this. It's known locally as the devil's toenail. It's actually a fossil, a gryphia, something that used to live around our shores about 200 million years ago, the forerunners of cockles and oysters. Now, this type of discovery has made Northern Ireland a geological extravaganza for students from around the world. Over the last few years, they have been flocking in, making it good business, as our environment correspondent Mike McKim has been finding out. To study some of the best geological examples in the world, you'd expect to travel to a distant exotic location, like the Grand Canyon or Iceland, but the shores of Lark Loch. This side doesn't look really terribly spectacular geologically, you know, it doesn't look like a lot of scrappy cliffs here, but it is actually internationally important. Mike Sims of the Ulster Museum extols the virtues of this location. And that's the point where you can actually stick your fingers saying, right, above there is Jurassic, below there is Triassic. And that is the point. There are only four locations in the world where the specific geological period changes so dramatically. Just look at this. These are light coloured rocks. Just over there, they turn black. They change practically around every corner. It's as good as you're going to get anywhere in a very, very small space. You've got an awful lot of a variety of ages of rocks and types of rocks. It's amazing that you know people come from the other side of the Atlantic. You know, it's certainly a good advertisement for how good the place is. For the students from Carlton University in Ottawa, who've been here for two weeks, it all seems to have gone down very well. I had no idea. It's beautiful beaches everywhere. Yeah, every, all over. Sandy, gorgeous beaches. I would have to say the seacliffs. Uh, such great uh, cuts of rock, uh, up 600, 700 meters tall, uh, and you just get a real good sense of uh, the amount of contortion and uh, working of the rock. The visits are part of a concerted effort between Queen's University and the Geological Survey of Northern Ireland. From a tourist point of view, if you can get young people here at the formative years, like early 20s, then there's a fair chance that they're going to come back again in later life, either as parents with families or on, on different holidays again. There'll be a lot of repeat business out of this, and it's something that within the geological survey we've tried to promote over the years. Yeah, and this is a real market opportunity. Just in case you were wondering what all the international fuss is about, the change in rock type denotes the exact divide between the Triassic and Jurassic period of geology. This spot in Larn is one of the best places in the whole world to see it. Mike McKim, BBC Newsline, on the beach at Larn. Tours of our unique rock formations. Now let me take you on a different...